Hey guys, what's up? So let's go ahead and explore the details of navigation in Next.js. So the primary way to navigate on the web, of course, is using the A tag. So we usually have the A and then the href that goes where we want a user to go. And in libraries like React Route at home, we have a link component. So in Next.js, we have this a similar one, but of course, this time we import it from next slash link. And uh, this gives us client side routing, and we can use this instead of the regular A. So one of the best features for this link here is that whenever your page renders, Next.js goes through the page and picks out all the referenced links, and it does a prefetch of those pages. So by the time a user clicks on it, then it has already pre prefetched the data for the corresponding page, and that's why things happen very fast. So scrolling down here, you can see the props you can pass now. You can see there is a prefetch prop that is true and that makes the functionality we're talking about possible so also we have the router so the router gives us some hooks that we can use to handle navigation related tasks so in this one let's go ahead and see how to navigate to the detail page and how to pick the parameters on the detail page so we can fetch again for the detail of the campaign earlier we saw that we can navigate using the href and the link to these ones but in this case, we want to be going to a dynamic page. So whenever we click next.js.conf, we want to go to something like slash test tag, and that's going to be different depending on what the user clicks. So what we want to do is we want to define a dynamic URL. So at this point in time, in the pages, we are going to create a slag.js, and we're going to put it inside this syntax here. So this means that this is going to be the press holder for whatever the page will be viewing and that's going to be based on the slug so whenever we go to slash certain slug the page is going to be generated here dynamically so we want to use js sorry so now if we come here we can create a component and it should work as a page so down here i'm just going to say campaign and to be able to link to this page like normal we want to go to our listing index and where we have the title so where we are displaying the title which is here we are going to turn that into an A and like we saw, we need to wrap everything inside the link component. So this is going to enable us to achieve client-side routing and pretty much get all the benefits that the link component provides. So we're going to move that inside and then specify where we are going to navigate to. We specify the href prop. So let's set the href prop to be, we want to do slash and then let's go ahead and concatenate there the slug. So element dot slug. So now we can come back to the browser. You can see that we get next.js conf. When I hover above, you can see down, it goes to slash, slash next.js slash conf. This one goes to slash date fetching class. So when I click on it, you can see that it navigates. So now one thing I want to show you is, is how to use the router to navigate programmatically. So let's say we want to navigate when a user maybe clicks on the parent element. So let's say a user clicks on the this div here. So let's go ahead and add an on click. So we're going to do on click. So whenever a user clicks this, we, we are going to call a function that's going to handle the navigation. So I'm going to call it handle navigation. And whenever we call this function, we're going to be passing in the item that was clicked on. So let's go ahead and pass the element. So let's go ahead and so we are going to need to wait for the user to click. So let's go ahead and call this on a on click. So down up here, let's create that function. So we're gonna have const handle navigation. Obviously, it takes in the element. So we're gonna go ahead and destructure the slug from it. And uh, what we need to do is navigate to the item with this slug. So the way we can do that is by is by using the use use router hook. So here. What you can do is we can get route the router by defining it. So const router. Then we want to call use router. So use router comes from next slash router. So here let's import it. So import since it's a, a named export, we can just pick it by use router. Then we want to do from next slash router. So with this, we can be able to navigate by calling push on it. So you can think of this as the history object that's available in the browser. And uh, let's go to the documentation, just so you guys know where to find extra information. So this is the use router hook. Uh, we can be able to navigate by writing push. And uh, let's take a look. On details, we can pick the path names or query 
to be able to do it like a fetch for the detail or something like that so we have router push this is what we want to do to be able to navigate to the page with this item you can just do router dot push so we want to go to slash then we want to go to slash um, the slug so just slug like this all right so now if we come here I'm just gonna go here and refresh it now I want to click on the title but I will click anywhere around here so I'm gonna click here notice that it navigates the same way it would navigate when we click here the navigation that is triggered by the by the click on the on the link is the same as is the same as the one that is triggered when we click somewhere on the component so it is also client side so which is also pretty fast so now I'm gonna show you how to pick which one was clicked on on the detail page so to be able to, to know which one we navigated to is here where we have the slug we can just do use router again so here let's do const router equals use router i'm gonna console log the router just so we see what we are working with and like we said it is a client it runs client side so since it runs client side we should be able to see it in the browser so now if we go back here i'm gonna bring up our I'm gonna bring up our browser tools so in the console and inside there we have all these properties so the path we are gonna need to get is in the query so what we can do here is we can just destructure query from use router so we can just say query like this and uh, we need to get the slug from that so we can just do slug like that and if we now console log the slug just switch this for the slug and come back to the browser refresh it inside here you should be able to see that it's undefined at first but then when it loads we get the, the slug so if we go to a different one let's say we go to one that's not next conf let's go to data fetching class you can see that we get uh, data fetching class here so in the next one we're going to be looking at how to use get static paths and get static props to prefetch the details pages at build time so if this one helps you out give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i'll talk to you in the next video